Greetings and welcome everyone to the Introduction to Bitcoin course. My name is Travis Patron and throughout this course I will be your instructor. Now you've most likely heard of Bitcoin by now, whether it be in the media, from your friends, from your family, and you might have even have a general idea about what Bitcoin is. But you most likely also have a few lingering questions about how does Bitcoin have value? How does the Bitcoin network operate? And what can we expect from this interesting new form of money in the years ahead? This course is designed to answer all of those questions and many more. So let's get started. Taking a look at the course overview, each topic will be divided into a specific lesson, with each lesson having sub-modules. In lesson number one, we'll be taking a look at the basics of Bitcoin which comprises how to securely store Bitcoin, what exactly is Bitcoin, and who or where did Bitcoin come from. In lesson number two, we'll be taking a look at the underlying technical framework that makes the Bitcoin network operate, which has come to be known as the blockchain. Now, you might have even heard that IBM is using blockchain technology for their Internet of Things framework, Project Adept. Furthermore, NASDAQ is taking a very close look at blockchain technology to determine if it is capable of transferring ownership of traditional financial assets. In lesson number three, we'll be taking a look at the cyber economics of Bitcoin and digital money as a whole, something which is fundamentally different from our traditional analog payment systems and economics. In lesson number four, we're going to be taking a look at the political implications of cryptocurrency. And this lesson in particular is especially interesting because if understood correctly, will give you the ability to predict and anticipate how we can expect political, in political institutions to react in the face of cryptocurrency. Now throughout this course we're going to be taking a multidisciplinary approach and by that we mean a very holistic, very entire view of what Bitcoin comprises. And that describes the economic systems of Bitcoin, how Bitcoin as a money system works, and the economic characteristics that describe it, the legal systems of Bitcoin, and how the blockchain technology represents a sort of digital constitution. And finally, and of course, we'll be taking a look at the information technologies aspects of Bitcoin and also the blockchain, which has radical and very opportunistic uses for data and ledger technologies. If you're interested in getting started on some reading, we've recently published a book on Bitcoin entitled The Bitcoin Revolution, An Internet of Money. And this volume is essentially a compilation of research into the Bitcoin payment system and some of the economic and political shifts we may see because of the formation of digital money and the separation of money from state institution. You can learn more about this volume at diginomics.com slash the Bitcoin revolution. Throughout the course, if you have any questions or comments, I encourage you to reach out to me by email at travis at diginomics.com. We're always eager to get feedback and hear suggestions to improve our course. I want to thank you for being a part of this course with me, as Bitcoin is one of the most intriguing developments of the 21st century, and I believe when it has reached its potential, we will look back on how this sort of technology has radically changed the way the world works, plays, and lives. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the course.